we're off. Hello, again. The last video was 15 minutes ago. If you look at the sky over there, we had a bit of a thunderstorm in the meantime. So this is part two of the video. This is a plot that we took on last year, me and my allotment buddy who's currently behind the camera. Hello. <laughs> who's now upside down in yours. <laughs> I just wanted to really whiz through. This was absolutely, it was up here in weeds. And so we've cleared it all. We've had bonfires, it's taken us two years really to get it to, to this. We've got all the brassicas on, or most of the brassicas on, on this one. Had a massive pigeon attack, so they've had to be netted again. But what intrigues me is that a different plot, and it's only just over there from my other plot, it's got a totally different personality. Because here, for some reason, I, I plant out in blocks. So, where you see the, the calibrating blocks over there and there's blocks over there, we've got some absolutely incredible um, courgettes coming through. We're just about ready to, to plant, uh, not to plant, to pick. So, you can, I don't know if you can see that one from there. That will be off over the weekend, no doubt. But I've done container gardening in the middle here and the ultimate versatility. We've got an old bath, we've got some dustbins, we've got a water butt cut in half, we've got a 40 gallon barrel there, and we've got marrows, we've got courgettes, we've got butternut squash, we've got pumpkins. There's a giant pumpkin over there about the size of a golf ball. So uh, it's, it's all beginning to, to come together on, on this plot. Um, I've got all that elephant garlic on here. And again, the elephant garlic is looking, since we had that rain last week, blooming weeds. So we've got elephant garlic, it's almost ready to pick. And again, as I said in the last video, if you see these little monkeys on the top of your garlic, just pinch them off. On garlic, you've got a stem through the middle of it anyway, and the cloves grow around the outside. So it's not so important, but it will put all its energy into making a flower and seeds. Keep the seeds for next year if you want to. I tend to buy new. Um, but that's it really. It's broad beans I got in in October, but we've got black fly. I've descended on them over literally over two or three days. So I, I think I just planted them way too early. But we have had loads of um, ladybirds, which has been lovely. And in the greenhouse over here, we've got a tomato experiment. These are a variety called RAF, R-A-F, and a friend in Spain sent me the seed that she had saved from a tomato. This one is in 100% horse manure, this one is in my own homemade compost, so we'll see the difference. At the moment that one's growing a bit chunkier, so we're just using this space more of a, as an experiment. Got some peppers down there to plant out as well. And then over here, the onion sets that we planted in October, November last year. The white ones have done a lot better than the, than the red ones. But once they get to that sort of size, don't really want them much bigger than that, just fold that over and that stops them growing and they start to mature from there. So uh, there's some red ones coming up here. That's all really. I just wanted to show you our new allotment and we'll keep the uh, information coming throughout the year. In the meantime, keep dry.